dark. But like brilliant light behind something blocking. Hmm. Shall we get rid of this barrier for you? Not. No, it's part of the actual occurrence. Okay. Get a sense of what I it see. is. the dust cloud. Being pushed by a solar wave, by a cosmic wave, by a galactic wave, all at once moving across. Our, our star family is there their ships, both physical and non-physical. And I'm on the roof of this very house. Just watching. Communing in energetics. As the light burns away, the dust, the darkness, it's an aspect of the diamond light of infinity just manifested in the world. Gold and white, silver. It's like being inside a diamond as it pushes the physical dust cloud away around. And it's not only inner, outer light, but inner light. from the trees and even the air. What do you sense or feel in your body as this occurs? Incredible energy. Like the joy of of waking up to every spring day that has ever occurred in the history of the world. How is everyone and everything around you responding to this beautiful, energetic stream of light that's come through? quiet, but I can just feel joy, peace. And a little confusion. but not a negative sort. Do you have a sense that you knew that it was imminent before it happened? 
Yes. Explain that a little bit. How oh, doesn't it work? Uh, no one was. And I was sitting on the roof, knowing I was going to watch the show. And I knew it on more than the physical level. It was my soul watching as much as my eyes. Telling me this is why you had so many lives. This is why you wanted to do this. Why you came. And it's beyond what you thought it would be. Anything else that feels important to mention that you're experiencing or seeing? I feel myself becoming less physical. Like unconstrained. Existing across the astral, physical. The emotional. I can hear souls that I haven't spoken with in millennia. Saying hi. And smiling. Does the entire universe come to watch this beautiful occurrence, this event? Oh, yeah. And it exceeded the expectations of the entire universe. Even those that had seen it in timelines. The universe stops for just a moment. And just a moment to some feels like an eternity to others. It's a now that needs to last and wanted to last. No more tiredness. (laughs) 
Or yes. anything if you don't wish it. <laughs> Even things like gravity. What had changed on the earth leading up to this solar flash? Everything changed somehow. My house is still there. My body is still there. But everything feels like it's only as physical as it wants to be. Like I have a body because I want to have a body, not because I'm in a body. So I guess since it remains, I guess since it remains flames too. Not a visual, just. A, presence lovingly burning. Have most humans decided to keep some form of a body? Yes. Because it honored the planet that gave them that body. So they would keep it until they had finished their work in things, but not in constraint. Like an old coat that is worn not because you have to wear it on a, hot, on a cool day, but because you want to wear it because it's comfy. You get a sense that you can connect to Gaia. I do. Can you describe what she's feeling at this point? within her own body. Relief. Relaxation. Joy. Like a mother whose child is just crowned and is born. The joy of creating and also the relaxation, the peace, knowing that you did it successfully. She's very tired but very proud. Mm 
What else has changed as a result of this event? Her energy is more visible, our planets. I don't know her name anymore. I think she wants a new one. Let's ask her what name she would like to be called. It's not Gaia. How was her old name? She hasn't decided, but I look around and there's fewer people. Not lonely, not not removed, but left. There's a great deal of confusion and a still joy overriding everything. Birds singing. Trees just shining. Everything. The light's different. It looks like the diamond light of oneness. Just a sliver of it. Interacts with everything differently. In a sense that everything is much more alive and a part of the whole and aware of that. Trees look like they're made of tiny crystals. Tell me about the colors. Maple leaves look like emeralds. I, <laughs> I can't describe the color. It's the solid auras. The colors are not just a reflection or a reflection of the of the material, but a reflection and refraction of what they are, how they feel. A thing that reflects refracted or reflected physical light in a consistent way can shift based on how it feels. A tree has more than just green leaves. If it feels joy, it turns into a rainbow crystals. Just just to do it. Is there a sound as the event occurs?
not audible. More felt. How is it felt? Like a rising frequency wave from a rumble. Quickly higher, but not shrill. Not painful to the ears, just quickly going from too low to too high to hear. Can you feel that within yourselves as it's occurring? Oh, absolutely. The entire planet experiences it, not feels it, not hears it. It's not a sound so much as a shift. The ear becoming the sound, not hearing the sound. And do you get a sense that there's almost a ripple out into the universe? Yes. But not just energetically this past through time, which is why everyone's here from the highest of realms. I wouldn't miss this for anything. And whoever doesn't know is going to feel this. You mentioned there are fewer people. Um, this ripple briefly carries along across the entire galactic energy grid. I can see it stretching through space like like the veins on the back of your hand turning from Blue to rainbows, stretching across from galaxy to galaxy. And fewer people, yes. I I ask why, but I haven't gotten an answer. Were there fewer people before the event took place, or did it occur because of the event? It was a conscious choice by them. Not clear if it was during or before. For some, it was during. Others, before. Do you get a sense of what age you are now as this event occurs? Very close to my age now.
This is not distant. This is very soon. anything that we need to know about that to prepare for this? Preparation is inside. One chooses to prepare for it ages ago. Or shortly before. It's not a surprise it's coming. It's only a surprise of what it's going to do. That's the choice. The fearful choose their solutions. The selfish choose their solutions. The rest of us now, consciously or not. You also mentioned a lot of galactic ships are there to watch this event take place. Are they as their spectators or are they do they have a role in assisting humanity? They're not allowed to openly interfere or show themselves until the event happens. At that point events are in motion. And after the fact, there are many questions. Not all who stay in the new earth are aware of what's happened. But their hearts kept them here. They need answers. And it's quite the party. I can probably see 300 ships just from the roof of my house. Some landing, some too big to land. All my family. They are so excited to meet family they've been separated from for millennia. They're so happy. to finally be able to come here. With reverence, like pilgrims.
This is more than planets and souls. This event affects a shift in the universe as a whole. 